So this is the last question I'm going to do for this batch. Um, I've recorded the 2023 question 11 for a new records video anyway, so I'll add that onto the same playlist. So first of all, question 10, relatively short question for this far through the exam. Um, we've got a check digit. So a check digit is a number at the end of a series of characters that can confirm if something's correct. You know, think about maybe errors if you're transmitting data along wires or you, or you want to make sure that it's not been intercepted and tampered with or something. This, this digit at the end is meant to add up to what was already in the, the data. Programs to be written to add a check digit to use as password. Password is input and then the program totals the ASCII values. That's important. Of the characters, divides the total by 11 and calculates the remainder. Now you should already be thinking remainder means you're going to use a mod function. The remainder is attached to the original password as a check digit, so basically it's being concatenated onto the end of it. So you get the password and then you add the number on. There's an example here for Fox. So you take the ASCII value for F. And you're not expected to know these ASCII values, you don't need to do that for a code solution, you, you don't need the actual number here, you need to know what the numbers are, but for F it would be 70, for O it would be 111, for X it would be 120. You add those up, you get 301, so you do 301 divided by 11, and then the remainder for that, so that's using mod, you get 4, so the password is FOX4. State a boundary for this program. This one was also one that kind of threw people when they came out of the exam, but I suspect, although obviously I didn't see their papers, that they probably got it right from what they described in their solution, what they did. So, a boundary for the programme. There's two fairly simple boundaries here. One is that you need at least one character in the password. The programme wouldn't work if the user enters a password that's um, empty, zero characters, because you couldn't you can add up the total and then divide it by 11, you'd be dividing 0 by 11. Wouldn't make any sense. The other one is ASCII values. So you should know from higher that there are other characters, like Unicode characters, that don't have an ASCII value. But they wouldn't work in this program because this program is only meant to work for ASCII. So um, it only accepts characters that have ASCII values. Then using a recognise design technique, so doesn't need to be a programming language, then we're going to design an algorithm that would create the updated password and store it in a file. Now this is five marks, so you're going to get marks just for doing the file. Now, if we look back up here, what it's doing, it's adding all of these together. It's really, it's a running total from National 5. Instead of just adding the numbers, we're getting the ASCII values. So it's a running total of all these ASCII values, rather than a straight running total. But the overall algorithm is something that we should recognise. So if you do a running total, first thing you're going to do is set the total to zero. So if I said set total to zero, and then we loop through each letter, we get the ASCII value for that letter, and we add that to the total. So, loop through each character in the password. And then we're adding to the total. So. Add ASCII value of each character to the password. If I was doing that as code, so it's not to the password, it's to the total. I was thinking ahead there. If I was doing this as code, um, then you know, I'll be using a, an ORD function in Python. So ORD brackets the character and adding that number to the total. Then, you know, that's the end of my loop. 
although if it's obvious cause of my indentation then it'll be okay then we've done the, the adding up part we need to do the remainder so we don't need exact syntax for this because it's a d design notation but you really would have to show that you know that it's a mod function so if I said remainder equals total mod 11 that would give us the remainder when you divide it by 11 and then we need to add that to the end of the password and store it into a file different ways I could do it there's different numbers of steps that I could use here I could have a separate variable for like the new password equals the password plus the number I could just write it in the file at the same time so let's say open the file in write mode give that as if you're doing that in python open brackets with the file name comma w then we're gonna write password plus remainder to the file so we're concatenating that and then close the file So it's actually not that difficult, although it looks like there's quite a few lines of code for something that's five marks. Um, again, when it says design technique, I've done it in pseudocode. I would strongly be suggesting that you try to do these things in pseudocode. Don't try to do them in a structure diagram because there's much more chance you mess something up. And it's an awful lot harder to change it once you've already started. Um, you should be used to thinking through this sort of thing in code because you might have had a question where you have to write it as code.